Wildcats, Novi Astronomy Club is having a meeting today after school in room 247. The topic for this meeting is the history of telescopes. Make sure to go check it out. Hi everybody, it's Miss Jen and Zena, and we have a missing persons issue. In September, we had a student bring uh, a student bring us a post-it note with a drawing and an actual descri description of this squishmallow that they lost. A couple days ago, someone brought it into us that they found it. We would like to find the owner of this squishmallow. If this is yours and you lost it in September, we know it had a lot of importance to you. Please come see us in the Taft office. We have it safe. All right, thank you. We appreciate it. Have a good day. Now a word from the Novi Drama Department. Novi Drama Club's last year's musical was The Little Mermaid. This year, we're doing Singing in the Rain. Audition date for the musical is the 21st, which is next week. If you're interested in the musical and plan to join the cast, make sure you attend today's dance audition workshop, which is at 3.30 p.m. You should also follow Novi Theater's Instagram account. For more information on audition stuff, you can message the Novi Drama Club Instagram account and ask for the Schoology code for the Novi Drama Club Schoology class. Also, stay tuned for the public shows in February of this year's One Act, Every U.S. Election Ever by Ian McWethy. I'll see you later, Wildcats. Hey, Novi, do you like giving and receiving gifts? Join the Black Student Alliance on Tuesday, December 19th, right after school in room 220. To participate in Black Elephant, you'll have to bring a gift that is worth under $10. There will be games and laughs, so if you have any questions, you can email Miss Spring at this email address up here. Hey, Wildcats, just letting you know that on December 14th, Novi Ted would like you to join in after school to learn about research and play an escape room for prizes. They will be in the Media Center Forum, and snacks will be available as well. Hey Wildcats, the holidays are right around the corner, and I went around asking students what their favorite holiday traditions are. Uh, my mom gets a bunch of prizes, and she wraps them up in a cellophane ball, and we have like a family game where you have to like unravel the cellophane ball with like oven mitts on. I guess it would be like making food for my family. We cook a lot when it comes to Christmas and we like really go all out for it. So we just cook a lot. Uh, one tradition for my family, I'm from Southern Colorado. And so um, for uh, Christmas Eve, we always have tamales and green chili. Um, yeah. I always like bake some cake and we meet up with our friends and it's like super nice and we give gifts and stuff. So uh, I open gifts on Christmas. So my family's Polish, so every year on Christmas Eve we celebrate Vigilia, which is the Christmas Eve feast. So we, cre the tradition is to make 12 dishes, um, typically meatless dishes, uh, with the only meat being fish, so no traditional like beef or pork or anything like that. Um, and But my family makes oftentimes more than 12. Uh, well, typically my family and I, we all tend to watch a Christmas movie. Usually it's Elf. We all watch that together the night before Christmas. Well, one is um, because my mother comes from a Mexican background, we do a tradition where we make tamales. And it's a lot of work. So we'll make tamales and chilaquiles. Thank you to everyone who shared their holiday traditions. Comment down below what your holiday traditions are. Hey Novi, so we are here at Starbucks trying out five different holiday drinks. But the issue is, neither of us like coffee. So we brought in an expert. I hate that I remember, I wish I could forget what you did last December. You left my heart a mess. Hey Wildcats. For your words. Okay, so first up is the peppermint mocha. Yeah, oh my gosh, it looks so fancy. It looks so fancy. Look how cool that is, guys. So guys, there's a thing. I don't drink peppermint. So I'm gonna let these two go for it because I hate it. I love peppermint. So we're gonna have, we're gonna see how these two. F you broke your straw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go get a new one. I really hate peppermint, and it's it's really bitter and very pepperminty. So two things that I hate, a two out of 10, thank you. Okay, Sasha's back. It's very strong and it's just bad. Three. So next we have is the gingerbread. It's very cinnamon and it's very strong. <laughs> a good old 5.5 .5 out of 10. 
<laughs> it tastes like pumpkin. I give this one a five because I don't like bad coffee. It does taste like pumpkin, you're right. It feels like it's more of a fall flavor than a Christmas flavor. Six out of ten. Yeah. So Actually, seven. Seven out of ten. Next is the caramel brulee latte. I that I remember. I wish I could forget. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Hey, Wallcats. Thanks for watching today's episode. We'll see you next time tomorrow for another episode. And meanwhile, Wallcats, stay tuned. I'll see you later.